Alright, in this video I'm going to show you how you can use your Samsung Galaxy Note 4. That's what I'm using. You might be able to use a Note 2, 3, or original Note, or Note 5, I'm not sure. But it definitely works for the Note 4. The S Pen, when we remove it or insert it, we can trigger some things in KLWP. Or we can just do mess around with Tasker. And I'm going to show you how this will benefit me. But first, let's just go ahead. I got a live feed right over here. But, you know, just kind of messing around on my dock. As you can see, it is showing uh, a clearer phone screen here. But uh, the main point of me showing you the live feed here is just to show you that, yes, I am going to remove my S Pen. So here we go. I'm removing my S Pen right now. Check out what flashes on the screen. Pin has been removed, and you may have noticed that Air Command automatically closed. So we're going to need Tasker for that. We're going to need uh, auto plug in, or auto input uh, the plug-in to get this to work. And now watch what happens when we put the pin back in. So I'm sliding it back in, and look at what flashes on the screen now. Pin has been inserted. So again, when I remove it, Tasker is going to automatically, with the auto input plug-in, it's going to close Air Command rather quickly. So watch it again. See how it closes it? Now, what I have over here, though, this is just something I have set up within the Android phone where I can go to settings and I keep that floating icon. Um, therefore, if Air Command kind of closes down, which I'm letting Tasker take care of, I still have that floating icon should I want to uh, do something um, like take a screenshot or whatever when I'm messing around with my phone. So I still have that option there when the pin's removed. Plus, it kind of serves as a reminder, me, reminder to me that my pin is not in my phone. It's not inserted. But when I insert it, notice Tasker will flash that thing. Pin has been inserted. All right. So here's how we do it. I'm going to remove my pin, and we're going to go into Tasker, and I'm going to show you how to get this done. So inside of Tasker, what you want to do is you want to create a profile and for the profile that you want to do is you want to do an event. And the event, I'm just going to type in intent. It needs to be intent received. So select that one there. And then basically once you do intent received, it's going to uh, ask you to you know, uh, type in what type of action. This is what you want to type in right here, com.samsung.pin.insert. And once you have that done, that's the only thing I did there, you need to create a task. So you can either create a new task or go over to task which I already have created, S Pen Test. And here's what I got going on right now. By that intent being done, whether the pin's been inserted, whether the pin's inserted or not, it creates a variable, uh, percent pin insert. And this is an if then statement. So if pin insert is true, basically this means if the pin is inserted into the phone, I want to flash this thing here that pin has been inserted. Well, what if it's not? That's what the else takes care of. So we want to, you know, the way you add these things, typically you can just go to plus and like if you type in if, uh, where's our if at? Right there. See how you have that if right there? And the same thing for the flash. You can type flash, tap your flash, and then you can add whatever you want to add there. That's how I'm doing that if and that flash. And you got to make sure you navigate these things around and put them where you want to put them. As you can see, I'm dragging those things around. Same thing for else, you know, go to plus, search for else, and then underneath else, here's what we want to do. I got it waiting for one second because air command is going to pop up, so I want to wait a second for it to pop up, but then I'm going to use the auto input plugin. So if we go to plus, we go to plugin and auto input, choose a global action under configuration up here with the pencil, tap on that, go to action and select back. And by you doing that, notice it is selected as back. Uh, that's going to automatically use the back button to close out of air command. So that's what I'm doing there with that. And you don't have to change anything else here. I'm going to delete that since I already have it up here. I just wanted to show you how to do that auto input global action. Then we have down here flash. Basically, I want to do a flash that pin has been removed. So this, I haven't changed anything in here yet. That's exactly what was triggering those things that I showed you at the beginning. Now, how is this going to benefit me, though? What can I do? Well, I find myself using the S Pen a lot when I'm editing things in KOWP. So why not, when I remove my S Pen, why not automatically launch KOWP? That's one of the main things I use my S Pen for, either that or writing out math problems, um, surprisingly. Uh, to emails to my students when they need help with a particular math problem. I'll whip out my S Pen and write something out and email it back to them. But that's neither here nor there right now. So launch app, launch KOWP, and I'm going to drag that underneath this thing for else. Because remember up here, 
if the pin is inserted, all I want to do is flash that pin's been inserted. But if it's been removed, I want to wait one second. I want to trigger the back button using the auto input. I want to launch KOWP and it's going to flash that the pin has been removed. So let's apply this by tapping our little icon in the top left hand corner of Tasker. And now I'm going to pop. And notice it does say pin has been removed. That's just an automatic thing when I close Tasker. It's open in KOWP. Let me close out of it and redo this. So I'm inserting my pin. Pin has been inserted. All right, let me remove the pin. And as you can see, it is doing all of that stuff. It's uh, closing air command, it's showing pin's been removed, and it's loading KLWP. So just like that, I'm now ready to go in and you know, start editing uh, KLWP with my S Pen, which is what I find myself doing quite often. So that's one benefit of having the S Pen and using it uh, in conjunction with Tasker and KLWP, but here's something else you can do too. Um, suppose you don't want this little floating icon. Well, that's something that you can disable right within uh, the settings of Air Command. So now that floating icon is not going to be there anymore, but check this out. So let me close this back. It says pin has been inserted. Let me remove it. Now the floating icon is not going to be there. Air Command closes automatically and KOWP opens right up. So maybe you don't want that floating icon hanging out around there. Maybe you want something in KOWP to remind you that your S pin uh, is not you know, inside of your phone. It's not inserted into your phone. Because I do find myself sometimes leaving this pin uh, on my desk at work or somewhere randomly around the house and I'll forget about it. So it's just a, serves as a quick reminder. Your phone, most notes will kind of chirp at you when you forget your pin, but sometimes mine has not. So maybe KOWP can remind me of that. Let me show you how to do that real quick. Let's go back into Tasker. And I'm going to go down to SPN test. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to, what do I want to do? Uh, okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to plus, go to plug in, KOWP, I'm going to do KOWP send variable. And under configuration, I'm going to type in, okay, tasker string. I'm going to do insert. I'm going to say inserted. The variable is going to be pin. You can call it whatever you want. So I got inserted, and I want to send that to KOWP. So I'm going to slide this one. Since I'm talking about inserted, I'm going to put this one up here for when the pin is inserted. Now, I want to do the same uh, underneath here, that KOWP send variable. I want to use the same name. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to copy this piece right here, and I'm going to paste it somewhere down here. So there's my KOWP send variable. I don't want to launch the app anymore, so I'm going to delete that one now. And I want to change this KOWP send variable. I still want to keep it named as pin, but I want to call this removed for the tasker string. Okay? Now, how is this going to help us? Help us? What is it going to do? Well, I'm going to go ahead and click play one time to test. And boom, okay, pin has been removed. I'm going to put the pin back in the phone. And I'm going to go back out of Tasker and I'm going to go to KOWP. So inside of KOWP, all I want to do is just uh, flash a reminder up to me that my pin is removed. So like if I'm if I walk away from my phone and or if I walk away with my phone and I forget my pin, I'll look at my wallpaper and it'll be like, oh, pin removed, so I gotta go grab it. So here we go, here's how I'm gonna do that. Now you can make it trigger other things as well. You can make it open up some random screen or anything like that, basically following these same principles. So I'm just gonna take this text item that I'm adding here, I'm just gonna bump it down here so I can actually see it. And for this text, I'm gonna bump the size on up and let's title this text, pin removed. So pin removed. There we go. Now I only want this thing showing when the pin is removed. Well first of all I want it to kind of flash at me so I'm going to apply a loop animation to this. I'm going over to animation I'm going to go to plus and I'm going to do a loop with return. I want it to uh, you can do fade in or fade out and now basically this is what I want to see when my pins removed. Here's the problem. Okay let me pop my pin in. 
pin has been inserted, but yet it still says pin removed. So we gotta apply another animation to this thing. Now notice here I removed my pin. This is when the only time I want to see this big old thing flashing across the screen. So here's how we can fix that. We gotta use that variable that we're sending over from Tasker. So let's add another animation to this. And I'm going to do a formula and I'm gonna use that variable that I created in Tasker. So here we go. If br tasker comma and that custom variable name that we created was pin if it's equal to removed I'm gonna, I'm gonna want this thing to fade in when it's been removed I want it to come in and I want it to flash at me the flash is going to come from that loop with return so if it's removed I want it to fade in I'm gonna apply that as my animation in otherwise I want it to go back which means it's going to fade back out so here we go. That should work. If the pin's removed, I want it to fade in. I'm going to set that animation. Otherwise, I want it to go back away. So here we go. Apply that. And I, like I said, I want it to fade in when the pin is removed. So let's see if this is going to work. I'm going to put my pin back in for right now. Pin is inserted. Let's save this. Let's go back to the home screen. And notice we don't see anything because the pin is inserted. What happens if we remove the pin? Well, first it's going to do all that tasker stuff, but now notice it is flashing pin removed, so it serves as a reminder to me. But again, you can make this anything you want by sending that ta uh, variable from tasker over to KOWP. Let's pop the pin back in to make sure this flash goes away. Bam, perfect. That's exactly what I want to do to serve as a reminder to me. Now, if we go back into Tasker one more time and we do all this stuff, if I go back down to SPN test, I'm going to go back to that launch app. It will do all this stuff too, all at one time. All right, so I'm going to launch KOWP. Make sure we slide that underneath the, the part, all this stuff where, you know, we have if the pins removed, all this stuff's going on. So applying that. I got the pin inserted right now. So pin is inserted. So now what's going to happen is when I remove the pin, it's going to automatically close air command. It's going to open KOWP and we should be seeing this flash up here on the screen. Let's see if all this happens. Cool. There you go. All right. If I save this, now notice the it's not flashing up here. You, you, if you've been messing with KOWP long enough, you know sometimes the advanced editor does not resync or it doesn't uh, necessarily do exactly what you think it should be doing. If I save this, go back to the home screen, we, sh we should still be seeing. Oops, we should still be seeing the pin removed. Let me pop the pin back in. Perfect. That's what we want. And there you have it. That's how you can use your Galaxy Note 4 S Pen to trigger things in Tasker and also send those things over to KLWP. Uh, like I said, this is the Note 4. It may work for the Note 5, the Note 3, the Note 2, or the Note 1. I'm not sure, but I definitely know that it works for the Note 4. And that's it for this video. I hope it helped.